Well, it's been more than nine years since an elderly leader Minnesota man disappeared. Peter Ackerman has never been found, but his family felt he deserved a proper funeral and wanted to celebrate his life. Our Anthony Scott has more. On July 24th, 2009, Peter Ackerman left his family farm to run some errands and he never returned. His car was found the next day wedged in a mud puddle and the police had no answers. Nine years later, his family is paying tribute to the great man he was. It's nine years and it's time. It's, um, I'm already in my late 80s and I don't want to uh, go without finishing my job. A funeral service was held Saturday morning for Peter, followed by a celebration of life at his family's farm. Even after nine years, so many friends and family came to celebrate his life, which says a lot about his character. He touched everybody. He, sometimes you wouldn't agree with him, but he, he still treated you, treated you fair, and he was a real good man. Peter was a Swiss immigrant who came to America and built something that can be passed down for generations to come. That's why he came from Europe, so he could farm. And he found this little heaven here in, north of Leader, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was our home. Yeah, he built it to our home. My brother owns the farm now, my older brother Franz. He was buying it from dad before dad went, disappeared, so it was, we all kind of wanted to keep it in the family. We got a big family, so this will always be home. Everybody's got a place. Despite the family holding a funeral for Peter last weekend, there is still hope that he is out there somewhere, and they just want answers as to what happened to him nine years ago. We just want to know what happened. Want, most of all, we want him home. We had this funeral today, and it was, it's, good, it's a good thing, but it would have been nice to have him somewhere where we could put him. He just was a good man, and I wish whoever knows where he's at tells us. Bizarre. That's the only word to describe what happened to Peter Ackerman on July 24th, 2009. The family was able to have some closure on Saturday, but they are still left with so many unanswered questions. Reporting from Leader, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. A $20,000 reward is still being offered by the family if anyone has information on Peter Ackerman's whereabouts. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.